find anything? We think it's a straightforward kidnapping. Stanley, could you look up accomplices? Why can't you guys do it? Because we're looking up jail time. Fine. Man, they got us so bad. We cannot let them get away with this. We have got to pull together as one and steal their refrigerators. Yeah! Yeah? I don't, I don't think we can do that. Go home, Toby. Just... Yeah. Bingo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Oh. Michael! Michael! Hey! Hi. Hi! I was just coming out to see what you're doing and maybe stop you. Hey, Toby! You suck! Is this an employee of ours? <laughs> Why go, 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 go! You know what? This young man needs to learn that that's not how you treat people. I don't care if it's pizza. Good business is about respect and accountability and follow through. You don't just make promises and pull the rug out from under somebody, do you? Dwight, please escort this young man into the conference room. Right now, get into I'm the not, conference room. I'm not going in yeah, there. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And you will come out when you decide to give me a discount on the pizza. Please, thank you. Stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. It's about to get all stupid up in here. You ready to give me my discount now? No. Okay, what have you been doing in here this whole time? What kind of business is this? We're a paper company. The best paper company in the whole wide world. All right, Dwight, okay. knock it off. You'd better think about what you are doing, young man. You better think about what you're doing. No! I'm an adult. I don't have to think or do anything. You're a kid. You're a little snot-nosed punk kid who thinks he's better than everybody else because he's some hot shot. And you don't know anything about sales. So stop being a disrespectful little jerk, okay? Sales. Yes, yeah, sales. You sell pizza. Last time I checked, that's called sales. You're such a loser. What did you just call him? A loser. What did you say? A loser. What? A loser. What? Okay, stop. What was that a loser. Stop. A loser. Stop. I didn't even say it. You just made this worse. A whole lot worse. I can make him talk, Michael. I don't know. If anyone out there is listening, I'm being held here against my will. I'm a minor. Okay, you know what? You really don't need to be updating me as much as you're updating Whoa, me. Whoa, there's a guy. There's a guy. It's a security guard coming by. Okay. Hello, we're warehouse workers. Would you like more proof? Hey. <sighs> oh my God, that was very close. I can see the security guard's eyes. No, no, don't do anything to them. I have to do something to his eyes. The eyes are the groin of the head. All right, great, Scott. If you found that choking hazard poster, just head on home. We got something far better. Jewel. They're industrial copier. Isn't that thing huge? It's enormous. But it's got wheels. We're wheeling it down the hall into the stairwell. Get the car ready. Keep the engine running. No. That is a terrible idea. Don't do this. Oh, oh, my hip bones. We're wedged between the copier and the railing. Ow! Oh, God! Go, oh, my leg Jim. Leave us, Jim. Help leave us. No. Save yourself. Don't leave us. Help us. We need help, Jim. Okay. First of all, stop using my name. And second of all, just... Right, you gotta move out. Damn it, guys. Right, just move over a little bit. I'm losing control of my bladder. Oh my god. Oh my god. Karen is back. Is that Karen? Take her to a motel. Make love to her. Jim. No, I'm not doing that. Hello. I've seen you guys around. I'm Michael Scott, Dunder Mifflin. How you doing? Oh, so I guess you know why I'm here. I need to purchase something. Like a fridge? No. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to buy some weed. Some what? Grass weed. What makes you think we'd have weed? I heard you were drug. I heard you dealt. Hey, just hold on one second. I'm not wearing a, a wire, so... Why would you even say that? Hey, it's gonna be $500. How much? 500 
It's a good price. It's a steal. How many pounds is that? It's, it's two pounds. I'm losing money on this, man. Just give me money. All right, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Luke, can I have that? No. Okay. I am going to count down from five. Five. five four, four. I'm not kidding. Three. three two, two. One. one. Give, okay. All right. You two. What do you do? are going to learn to be more professional, Luke. That's what you're going to do, Luke. What the hell was that? I had to do that. You this. Screw it. All right. Are we good? <laughs> Phil recruited me to sell these cards, and now I am recruiting you. Who is this guy again? Don't worry about Phil. He drives a Corvette. He is doing just fine. OK. Calling cards are the wave of the future. These things sell themselves. Who uses calling cards anyway? You know what? That's a nice attitude, Ryan. I'm just helping you invest in your future, my friend. This sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Didn't you lose a lot of money on that other investment, the one from the email? You know what, Toby? When the son of the deposed king of Nigeria emails you directly asking for help, you help. His father ran the freaking country, OK? All right, so raise your hand if you want to get rich. All right. No, um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? All right, let me explain again. <laughs> Phil has recruited me and another guy. Now, we are getting three people each. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all going to make. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme, per se. It's. I have to go make a call. This is going to be a very good year. Very good. Jane is at home. Jim is back. My protege, Ryan, is at corporate. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. Officers, I reveal to you the perpetrator. Hey, what is this? Search his things. Sir, can you step away from your desk, please? Why? Sir, please step away from your desk. Hey, what's going on? You hey. don't have my permission to do this. They don't need your permission, Flanderson. They've got the company's permission. Hey, hey, what are you, why are you doing this? Uh, you know what? I think this is, I, this is probably misunderstood. Don't search my stuff. Sir? I have a reasonable right to privacy. You save your whining for the jury there, Flanderson. Yeah, let's Michael. just cancel this, okay? Sir, did you recently return from a trip to Central America? Oh, oh my no, God! No, no, there was, no, no, I went no. to Costa that was, Rica for that a few months. That was legitimate. Months. That was what totally legitimate. Really? Check this out. Oh God! I, that is not mine. Oh, I have no, 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 no! What are you no, going God. on here? No, that's. I don't know what that is, and it, 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 I bet he has nothing not. to do with that. Ah, that's mine. No, Michael. No. Yes, it's mine. Some basil. Salad dressing, I think. Salad dressing? Yeah, it's a caprese salad. It's a little bit of a. Uh, Mozzarella, right there. And remember, it's not just a pattern. It's a pattern of disrespect mm -hmm. and inappropriate behaviors. Diz Ray, my friend Diz Ray got new specs. Diz Ray specced. My friend in Apro drives a Prius with his behind neighbor. Does this work for you? Yep. <sighs> Tell him how much you're going to get if you win. Uh, come on, Michael, that's tacky. Million dollars. Four million. Four million dollars! <laughs> That is a lot of guacamole, a lot of the green, a lot of green. That is why I have memorized Jan's answers. Oh. And I've also thrown in some ers and ahs, oh, just Michael. to make it seem like it's not memorized. Oh, come on. Stop. Perfect crime. Stop. Mr. Scott, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeesh. Mr. Scott, can you describe the circumstances of Ms. Levinson's termination? Well, it was not just a termination. It was a pattern of disrespect and inappropriate behavior. Oh, very good. Well put. Mm, people underestimate Michael. There are plenty of things that he is well above average at. Like ice skating. He is a very good ice skater. If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. No one uh, asked you anything ever, so whomever's name is Toby, why don't you take a letter opener and stick it in your skull? Hey.